In this video, I'm going to show you how to take training load variables and calculate an exponentially weighted moving average, as well as use this to calculate an acute chronic workload ratio. This is going to be really powerful for anybody who is using training load or different metrics as part of a monitoring program and wants to be able to calculate out these metrics to determine whether they are high or low. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back. And like I said in the intro, we're going to work through calculating training load. So to orient you to the spreadsheet, what we have here is basically an athlete name and then a whole bunch of dates on which they've done a session and they've recorded an RPE value out of 10 and then um, a training or sorry, a duration in minutes um, to the nearest basically five minutes. Um, and then off of that, we're going to calculate a training load and then an exponentially weighted moving average for the different training load. So to start this off, let's first calculate out our training load. And if you're familiar with training loads, um, basically what we want to do is create a load in arbitrary units. And we do that by multiplying RPE and our time in minutes. So what I'll do is type in a formula here that can get that done. And I only want to type in this formula once and have it calculate basically the whole thing. So I'm gonna use an array formula. So I'll type in equals array formula, open this up, and then I'm gonna check if um, basically len um, a3 to a, so we're taking this whole column, and len basically just checks to see if there's something in that cell. And if there is, then what I wanna do is calculate C3 to C and multiply that by D3 to D and then comma. If there isn't, then what I want to do is basically um, return blanks and then I'll close that off. So to walk you through this formula, basically what we're doing is working through here, checking to see if there's something in column A and that means that that athlete has a value um, in the training load database and it's not a blank cell like down here and if there is something then I want to multiply this RPE column by the time column and when I hit enter you'll see that all of my training loads basically get calculated and by the time that it gets down here um, there are no more values there so it stops calculating but if I was to enter in um, some values it would automatically calculate Okay, so that's how that works, and that's sort of step one. Now, step two, we have to kind of figure out a couple of things. So in order to calculate an exponentially weighted moving average, we use this formula here, which is basically um, the moving average equals alpha multiplied by xt, and that is um, our current variable, plus um, one minus alpha times... Um, basically our variable um, minus one. So our, our variable minus one. So that is sort of our chronic load. So one day removed. So in order to calculate out this alpha variable, the formula for that is two over the number of days plus one that we want. So basically if we were gonna calculate out an acute and a chronic, acutes are typically done over a seven day period or one week and then chronics are typically done over a 28 day period. So what this looks like is equals two divided by and bracket basically um, seven plus one and then that is our alpha variable for seven days and then if I just drag that down that is our alpha variable for um, 28 days and I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit to make it 0 0.07 so we're gonna use these variables when we're actually calculating out our acute chronic sort of workload ratio here. So the first thing we're gonna calculate out is basically this exponentially weighted moving average for our acute. And I don't have a way that we can only write this formula once and then have it calculate down the whole way. Um, that, is, that gets to be quite a complicated formula. But what I am gonna do is show you how to write one formula and then be able to drag it down and it automatically works. So what this formula kind of looks like is if um, is number, and we're going to look in, in this case, E2, and 
what's going to happen is as I drag this down, it's going to look in E2, E3, E4, E5, etc. And the reason that we're doing this is um, I know that it's going to be false in this first one because it's checking to see if E2 is a number. And I know it's going to be false. And if it is false, I just want to return this one variable here and not do any calculations because I know that that is the first variable and it won't need a calculation because that's the only training load available. It's only when we get to the second, third, fourth, fifth training loads that we actually have to calculate out different variables. So if is number is false, comma, I want to um, basically return um, that number, so E3. So you can see how this formula works is it just returns that number and then if I drag it down it's going to do nothing because all of those are returning true because it's searching in this one and then this one and then this one and those all have a number in them. So that's the first part of this formula. Then the second part is to actually perform this calculation. So how the calculation looks, um, if we look it's our time variable, um, sorry alpha times time variable plus one minus alpha times our um, one removed exponentially weighted moving average value. So this formula looks like this basically. Open this up and we're going to type in E2. Reminder that it's not going to calculate in this first one because we're ignoring that condition. So it will only start to calculate when we get to the second cell. So the training load is E2. And then we want to multiply that by our seven day variable, which we know is never gonna change and that's stored in M1. So I'm gonna lock that in with um, F4 and then plus bracket, bracket one minus that same variable again, so M1. And I'm going to lock that in with F4 and then um, one bracket and then multiply that by um, basically F2, which is going to be one removed. So basically one up from there. And I'll close that off and hit enter. And it's going to give me an error, mostly because I haven't closed off all of my brackets. And when I hit enter, whoops, it's got too many parentheses in there. So I just forgot to close off all my brackets. And I'm going to not do the autofill. So basically let's walk through this formula. If is number E2 um, is false, then we want to return E2. Otherwise, we'll do this calculation. So we'll see this calculation in order. So basically, here we are taking E3 and multiplying it by um, M1, which is 0.25, and then adding to it, comma, comma, 1 minus M1, comma, so 0 0.75 times 270, and it gives us a value of 270. But as we drag this down, you can see now it starts to give us our acute load variables. Okay, so the first one is going to be 270 because we're using the same variables, but then it starts to change quite significantly as we work through this. So what I want to do here now is I want to actually round these because they have quite large numbers. So what this might look like is I could type M round, open that up, and then comma, and I want to round it to the nearest one, and then close that whole thing off. And basically, as I drag this down, it's going to give me nice whole numbers. So that's our acute variables. Now we'll do our chronic. And for our chronic, it's basically the same formula. I'm going to type that in. It's basically the same formula, although instead of M2, or sorry, M1, we're going to use M2 because we want to use our alpha variable for our 28 day. And then instead of E2, we're gonna reference um, F2. So um, I will hit, sorry, not F2, G2. And then hit enter. And close that off. And now we get those variables. And this should actually be referencing, sorry, um, F2. Oh, sorry, yeah, it is. So this one, sorry, should be G2. We're all good. So as I basically calculate this all down, that is our chronic variable. So basically on a 28-day weighted cycle. Now the next one that we want to calculate 
It's just that acute chronic workload ratio, which is basically just my acute variables divided by my chronic variables. So what this looks like, I do have an array formula for this. I just type in array formula, open this up, and we'll say if len, open that up, say E3 to E, close that off. Then what we want to do is M round, because I want to round this off, F3 to F. So the acute variables divided by the um, chronic variables, G3 to G. And I want to round that to 0 0.01. And then otherwise, we'll do nothing. And then I'll close it all off. And you can see now we get our actual ratio. So we got 1, 1, 1.44, 1 1.24, 1 etc. Now, commonly, when we're doing acute chronic workload ratios, we would have basically in a high and a low variable. Um, typically, those are 0 0.8 and 1.3 and anywhere outside of those bounds may be cause for concern in terms of um, your training but for the purposes of our um, project what we're going to do is just have those on our graph so that we can see them so let's type in a formula for that we'll say equals array formula open this up if len we'll say e3 well let's say h3 to h open this up then we want to return the value 0 0.8. Otherwise, nothing, close that off, close that off. And then it's just gonna basically put a 0 0.8 in each one of those. But let's make this dynamic. You know, basically use that variable there. And we'll hit F4 here. And then what I'll do is just copy this and paste it. And there's all of our 1.3s. So from here now, I can actually visualize this so let's do that now so we'll take um, dates and i'm just holding down control here training load in arbitrary units we'll take um, our acute chronic workload ratio um, our low variables and our high variables and what i'm going to do is go to insert chart and it's going to give me a chart that looks kind of like this. I'm going to make it into a combo chart. And what I'll do is go to customize and we'll take these different um, series. Let's use row two as headers. So now we can see all of our headers. We'll go to customize series for our training load and arbitrary units. Let's maybe, um, hmm, let's maybe fill it at about 50% and 0% on the line, so we have these different fills. And then for acute chronic workload, let's make that a line, but we'll put it on its own axis so we can see it. And um, that's good for me. And then for our low variable, let's make it green. We'll put it on the other axis, we'll make it a line, but I like it to be a dashed line, and then our high variable, we'll make it red, make it a dashed line, and we'll put it on the right axis. And if I delete those, let's turn off the grid lines here. Now we have basically this graph that shows us our training load, and you can see we have some points that maybe are a little bit high. If we wanted to change this, maybe we thought that 1.5 was a better measurement, we could just easily change this number up here and then be able to visualize that, no problem. So right there now, we can start to track our different um, training load metrics and be able to take a look at it and see where we may be falling outside of those bounds. And this may be somewhere where we pay extra attention to how we're loading that athlete in that time period. So I hope this video helps you out. And if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you do, find any value in these videos. If you could share this with another coach that you think would also find value, that's how this channel grows and it helps me keep creating new videos. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.